Hello everyone, welcome to Clashing Quarter. So in this video, we will see the question chocolate distribution problem. So this is an easy level question, but it has been asked in interviews for Flipkart and Amazon. So this is a really important question from the perspective of the interview. So it will be asked like a starter question for uh, for the coding interview. So let's see the problem statement and we will understand both the uh, the possible solutions for this problem. So let's see. Given an array A of positive integers of size n, that means that we are given an array A of size n where each element represents the numbers of chocolates in a packet each packet can have a variable can have variable number of chocolates so we that means the added elements that we are given are actually number of chocolates in a packet so they can be variable so there are m students the task is to distribute the chocolate packets such that each student get one packet so that means we have to distribute the chocolates the array that we are given to m number of students the difference between the number of chocolates given to the students having the packet with maximum chocolates and the student having the packet with minimum chocolates is minimum. So actually don't get confused here. I will explain you what the problem is about. So first of all, let's see the constraints. So actually input input we will have to take all the inputs. So we will have to make our main function ourselves. So we will have to first of all input the test cases, then number of the elements, then array of the uh, elements of the array, then M that is number of students. So let's see the constraints also. So, okay, you can see the constraints test cases are from 1 to 100 and the number is from 1 to 10 to the power 7 and the elements of the array are from 1 to 10 to the power 18 and M is between N. So, let's see how we can uh, like what is the problem about and how we can solve this question. So, first of all, uh, you can see in this question we are given M and N. So, this is the number of the elements in the array or these and these are the elements and these are elements actually are packets. So, packets which are having these much candies. So, this packet has three chocolates, this packet has four chocolates, this packet has one chocolate and these are the number of students. These are number of students and we have to distribute the chocolate among five students. So, we will have five blank spaces and we have to distribute the chocolates among five students and we have to distribute in such a way that the minimum chocolate that uh, minimum pack uh, chocolate uh, packet that uh, one student is getting and the student who's getting the maximum number of uh, chocolates in a packet the difference between them should be minimum so actually what it means that is sim in simple plain language it is that we are given an array and we are given a size of the sub array that we have to form so we have to form a sub array of size 5 where the minimum element in the sub array of size 5 and the maximum ele uh, element of the sub array five uh, this five should have the minimum difference possible so in this example you can see this is the input and the, the, that we are given and we have to form a sub array of size five so sub array can be like three one okay nine and seven and five you can uh, nine you can see these are uh nine, five elements total you can see three nine uh, three one nine seven and nine you can see i let me write here three one okay seven and nine and again there are two lines so now if you see this is the sub array that we have formed so we have to form a sub array of size five and we have to find the sub array which has a minimum difference between the minimum and the maximum element so the minimum element here is one and the maximum element is nine so the difference between one and nine is actually eight so we have to minimize this difference so in the given array we have to form a sub array of size 5 the number of students actually and we have to form a sub array such that the difference between the minimum element and the maximum element is less so we have to minimize this difference so i hope you got the example and what the example is about to uh, ask so now let's see what uh, how it is solved in this particular example what is the output so you can see this is the input that we are given so these are actually number of uh, the packet number of chocolates in a, a per packet so we are not uh, considering that we are simply considering we have to form a sub array of this particular array out of this particular array of size 5 and its difference between the minimum and the maximum element should be minimum so in this if we form this 3 4 1 9 and 7 now if you see we have formed this sub array now if you compare the difference between the minimum and the maximum sub uh, array so you can see we have elements like this we have 3 okay we have 4 we have 1 we have 9 and we have 7 so the minimum element is 1 and the maximum element is 9 so difference between them is 8 now let's try another uh, sub array if we can form so let's see so if we compare the values as 3 4 9 okay 7 and 9 so let's see so as as you know you can see and tell that uh, 56 would not be included because it is really greater value than the other so difference will be obviously uh, very much bigger than the minimum difference so we will not compare that so for this example so let's see now we have 3 okay 3 
4 then we have 9 then we have 7 and then we have 9 so in this we have the minimum element as 3 so and the maximum element is 9 so you can see 9 minus 3 is actually 6 9 minus 3 is actually 6 which is less than the previous value that we were having so you can see 6 so 6 is less than 8 so answer is 6 so actually you can try more uh, probable subsets that can be formed but the minimum difference that will be between the minimum and the maximum element will be 6 in all the cases so this was the explanation for this particular example so let's see what can be the naive, uh, naive solution so actually as you know we have to form the sub arrays of size m that we are given out of the array of size n so we can simply do that we can form all the sub arrays of size n the m that we are having 5 we can form all the sub arrays of size m so sub array can be 3 4 1 9 or it can be like 3 1 9 56 it can be like many things so for this doing this uh, generating all the possible subsets of the array of size m it will require o of uh, o of 2 of n uh, time which is exponential time so which is really a lot of time for this problem considering it is an easy level question this cannot be possible so this can be the naive approach actually but you will not implement it like that so you can uh, tell the interviewer that you will generate all the possible subsets of size m out of this array and then you will come also uh, simultaneously you will compare you will calculate the difference between the minimum and the maximum element and maintain a global variable that is result and update its result if any subset has the uh, difference smaller than the result so you will update it you can see i have written pseudocode so it is actually generate all the possible subsets of size m out of the array then traverse all the subsets and find the minimum difference so you uh, if you are saving the subsets so it will require space also but you can simply do that you can for every subset you form you simply uh, traverse or uh, like compute the value or the minimum difference between the minimum and the maximum element at, or the particular at the particular point only when you generate a sub array so you can do that and when uh, you have all you have traversed all the like possible sub arrays of this array you will simply return the global minimum out of all so this uh, solution will actually be a like good start in an interview it will be actually uh, exponential time but yeah it is a good start so let's see how we can optimize this solution because it this is like not a that much difficult problem that we have to generate all the possible sub arrays so let's see in this uh, slide only let's see so you can see in this actually if you see we don't have to like calculate anything uh, that that much and return anything so it, it is simply like we have to find the minimum and the maximum element which has a minimum number of difference and the elements between them if we are forming sub array so let's see uh, in this we don't uh, come care about the indices so what if we simply try to bring all the smaller elements together so what actually if you sort them so if you sort them we can simply get one three okay four seven nine in this form so now if you see if we get this now why can't we find simply the possible difference so if one is here okay then we can we have to form of uh, the sub array of size five so if this is sorted we will actually have all the elements with minimum difference between them so in this actually 556 was coming in between 9 and 7 so why not we sort them because we don't care about the indices we don't have to return indices we have to simply turn the minimum possible difference between the minimum and the maximum element so what can you do we can simply sort the array if we sort the array we can simply make a window of size n the m sorry that is fine so we can like take one here and then we can skip four, three elements in between because this will be three the first and the last element will be two so actually it will be m minus 2 so actually you will have two elements you can see so you can simply find difference between 1 and 9 so it will be 8 now if you compare this 3 your pointer will be at 3 so now you have to again skip three elements and go to the uh, last element you can see it will be 3 minus 9, uh, nine minus 3 so it will be 6 so similarly for 4 also it, after 9 it will be 12 so you can see uh, similarly calculate so it will be 8 again 12 minus 4 so it will be 8 so like this why can't we sort the array and simply find the uh, like difference between them so let's see so this is the optimal solution actually i have uh, told you the approach let's see the like basic algorithm how it is let's see the pseudocode so you can see first the first step actually we are using a greedy approach so we will sort the array so after sorting this array the input that we are given let's see what we get one three and four and then seven we have nine we have two nines so it is actually not given that it is unique so we will have duplicate values so this is 56 so duplicate values uh, don't uh, matter so let's see so you can see this is the sorted version that we have got from this array 
so what we are doing is we are simply making a window of size m that we are having so it is actually a sliding window you can say approach we, here you can see in the sudo code, first we will maintain the result variable that way we have to return and we will calculate or we will run the loop from i is equal to 0 i will run from 0 and it can run only till we have the elements to form at least the sub array of size 5 so actually to do that our size is m and n is actually 8 here n is 8 okay this is 0 based indexing so this is 7 n is 8 and we can run the loop till if you see visually you can see we can run loop till only this point i can run only till this point that is 3 because we have to have actually 5 uh, 4 elements after i also so then only we can form the sub area of size 5 if we come to this 4 so we have only 3 elements left so it cannot form a total sub area of size 5 so we can run only till 3 so how we can get the, uh, the i till this 3 only so it will be actually n minus m the size of the array you can see it will be actually 3 okay it will be 3 but we have to run you can write it equal to also but we are less than we are running till less than so it will be plus 1 you can see plus 1 so it will be 5 okay this uh, 5 minus uh, 8 minus 5 3 plus 1 so i will run only till it is less than this 4 fourth index so this is where i will run because after that I, after that uh, we can form the size of uh, uh, we can for, not form the sub array of size 5 so this will be where i will be running and we have to simply calculate the first and the last values difference so to do that we don't have to traverse the array so uh, we don't have to traverse array for calculating that when we are traversing the first loop we can simply find that by i is here okay i is here so our the next point that we are uh, should have the difference between should be here for so it can be simply found as i that is 0 you can see i plus m that is 5 here i plus m minus 1 so it will be 0 plus m minus 1 that will be 5 minus 1 it will be 4 you can see the next point here next pointer is at 4 so this is what our loop is doing actually you can see i will run from 0 to n minus m plus 1 so it will run till this point till this point less than this 4 less than 4 it will run till this point sorry let me raise this and we will calculate the difference that is current difference for the particular element so first our i will be here then it will calculate the difference between this so it will be 8 you can see 8 our result will have value as 8 it will have value as 8 uh, current will have value as 8 then we will check the result so result will be initialized to int max it is int max so int max and 8 out of them 8 is smaller so result will be set to 8 so 8 is set now next i will run here i will come here okay i will come here let's erase the all the pointers rest of the pointers so now the next point will be actually i is here so i is 1 1 plus 5 that is 6 minus 1 so it is 5 so j is uh, the next pointer is here so we will calculate the difference between these values 9 minus 3 so it will be actually okay you, it will be 6 so current is 6 so result 6 and 8 which is minimum okay 6 is minimum so result will be updated to 6 so now we will have 6 similarly it will come here 4 and 12 so now difference between 4 and 12 is 8 so 8 so nothing will happen because result is smaller than 8 a6 is smaller than 8 so nothing will happen so it will say here so now it will come here 7 and 56 now if you compare this difference will be obviously greater than that so nothing will happen so the result will be 6 only simply 6 so this is what we are trying to do but now the time complexity for this will be actually let's see time complexity for this will be actually n log n because we have sorted the array so for sorting the array we will use obviously the inbuilt function because we don't want to code that much also but but in interview you should be ready if interview asks you to code that also the sorting algorithm also so you should be ready to code the merge sort or the quick sort so if you use the quick sort or merge sort the time complexity will be n log of n okay so time complexity will be n log of f uh, log of n because we are also traversing the array one time so it will be n log of n and the space will be just o of n because we are not saving anything we are just maintaining two variables and we are sorting the array in place so we are not using the another array to sort it or anything we are directly sorting it on place so it will be simply uh, this n log of n so let's see the code actually i hope you got the solution actually uh, how we solve that so let's see so in this as i told you we have to input the test cases also so here i have input the test cases then while uh, test cases are there we will simply call this function that is solve function and you can see first we will input the number of the elements in the array then we will initialize the array of size n then we will take the inputs of the elements in the array then m so here you can see uh, do uh, see that properly so first we will uh, take the input n the elements then m is inputted after the array of the uh, elements of the array so m is input here so you can see m then what we will have to do is we have to initialize the result so result let me keep it 
here actually so result will be initialized first of all to int max because it will be maximum then only we can find the minimum element so let's see so first we will sort the array so this is actually a, this is a inbuilt function for the c plus plus you can see sort array or and uh, comma array plus uh, and that will be the last point uh, uh, last element pointer so then we will run a for loop it will run to from i is equal to 0 to i less than n minus m plus 1 that will be uh, till we have the elements to form the size of a uh, sub array m so i plus plus you can see the we will calculate the current here current will be actually the last element on the particular in this particular sub array minus the first element difference and then we will update our result if it is less than it is greater than the current we will update it to current it is actually minimum of the current or the previous result afterwards we will simply return the result and print the next line so let's see submit the solution so i hope you got the solution i will also share this code in the description so you can refer it from there and guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel for more such videos so let's see it is submitting so yeah you can see it got submitted and it took just 0.69 seconds so thank you for watching guys do like this channel and subscribe this video thank you for watching